Hey everyone, it's Mattitude22 here, and today we're going to be looking at the DC Multiverse, King Shark build a figure wave, Batgirl a Burnside figure. Now looking at this figure, the first thing I found is the hair was a little bit dark. I feel like a brighter shade of red would have stood out, it would have looked a little better, but the, the shading is pretty nice, there's some black shading in there. As far as looking at paint for the rest of the figure, 90% of it is the purple suit which looks good I think they picked a nice shade and the yellow stands out very well you could see on the gloves the bat symbol is painted really nice the little clips on the cape looks good the belt however could have used a little more paint there's a little bit of silver paint right up here and it's very hard to see but a little bit of gold paint there could have used a little more especially on the pouch right here, a little silver would have been nice. The paint on the cape, you could see a lot of black bleeding through, which is unfortunate, but probably not something that you'll notice. Not something that will stand out too, too much if you just got her in a basic pose. Right, a little bit of purple bleeding right there on the belt, which again, you're not going to notice, so it's not too, too bad. The black stripes are painted fairly well on this side. Looks good. A little less good on this side. You could see there is some black rubbing off right there, which is kind of unfortunate. But the laces look like they're painted very well. Looks good. Nice black. Now... As for the face, I think they did a nice job painting the lips and the eyes are a nice blue. So that looks not too bad. Looking at the articulation, she has your standard DCUC articulation. You got your standard ball peg shoulder, which is okay. Now a lot of parts I found on mine were really, really stiff. Like looking right here, you can get that side out okay. But this side, it is just, it's, it's, it's just stuck. It's just stiff. And I found I had that a lot. Again here, the single jointed elbow works pretty good on this side. But on this side, it's, it's just stiff. It, it just doesn't move. I'm not trying to force it too much. I definitely don't want to break it. If you find you have a if you find you have a problem like this with yours, you can always do the hot water trick and that should fix it right up. Some swivel on the wrist. Now right here in the ab area, this is a problem because you can see it it doesn't look the best. You can see the gap right there. You can see where it kind of looks like her abs are kind of chest is kind of caving in and Unfortunately, it doesn't work the best either. Again, you're not going to get any backwards at all. And mine, very stiff. So that's the most I could get her to look down the head. Side to side is not too bad. Works pretty good. No up and down at all. So, disappointing. Your standard DCUC gaping crotch pit. As far as the legs, you got the single jointed knees. Swivel right there. So not too bad. Not too bad. And for the feet, it's definitely supposed to have ankle hinges. You look like you're, but mine is just, it's just stiff. They, they just don't want to move at all. And again, that is unfortunate, but yeah, it's just not moving at all. Looking at the accessories this figure comes with, she has a yellow batarang, which looks okay. Nothing too fancy. And she has a... She comes with this gray cell phone, which is basically just... Can you guys see that? Is basically just molded gray plastic. Nothing... Yeah, there. nothing great there, nothing special. Overall, 
She's not a terrible figure. She's pretty good. If you're looking for a nice Batgirl to fit in with your DC figures, your DC UCs, she's going to do the trick. She's going to fit in nice, and she is pretty decent. But if you're looking for a better version of this figure, I will suggest the DC icons. If you don't mind the smaller scale, then it definitely will take this and enhances it tenfold. As far as accessories and paint apps and posability articulation. But again, if you're looking for just a standard back row to fit in nicely with your DCU seeds, this will do the trick. Definitely do the trick. So I want to thank you guys for watching today and please like, share, subscribe and leave a comment and we'll be back next time with another toy review. See you later.